struggle with now is I got an acronym for a lot of customers. They're dumb customers. Now, I'm not trying to insult you, but dumb stands for you don't understand my business. Right. right. So I was negotiating with a guy the other day that later came back, but they're trying to go to these other sources like Clark Howard on how to negotiate a deal or something. And so they want to come do it their way. Their way, even though it's not that I don't want it to work, it just doesn't work like that. And so when I try to explain to you, no matter what method you want to use in your head, at the end of the day, these are the numbers. So it's it's almost like if you're logical trying to talk to an illogical person, then you know I'm speaking English, you're speaking Spanish. And how so? How do you correlate that value, even though you're telling them? Yes, yeah, they're so scared of being upsold or they, these experts tell them don't buy anything else, da 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 How do you get over that hump of, oh, take that 199 off? Well, sir, you actually might want to look into this 199 because it is, if you lose that key, you're replacing this. If you get a dent, you get that filled out. If you curve it with anything. And then they, it's almost like the ego pride thing. Well, I'm never going to lose the key. I'm never going to dent it. And they know damn well they're going to dent it or lose a key. So it's like they just want to feel like they want. Oh, well, I worked him off or something. You just got to slow them down enough to show them value in it. Well, I mean. and, and you've got to make sure they understand. Mm -hmm. and, and most consumers don't. Um, I get uh, 220,000 views a month on YouTube. Over half of them are consumers, mm -hmm. not car people. Mm -hmm. um, I get... I get I get some really, really bad stuff said about me. But I also have come to understand the, the, mag, the, the magnificent misconceptions people have about our business. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, they think when you sell a uh, $65,000 expedition that you're making seven and 18 grand. Uh, yeah. And that's yeah. before the secret money comes back mm -hmm. from the factory. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay? I mean, they, no, this is what they believe. Right. Um, I told the group this morning, I spent, I spent 30 months working at Curry Honda, and I worked as a closer. And what I would do 50 times a month is take out a Honda invoice with the Honda watermark on it, with the Honda, yeah, a red confidential stamped on it, and put it down in front of people. And, they think, they, and, and, and then, they think you printed it out. And then. And there's a secret vault with the real yeah. ones in the back. And by the way, by the way, that's great. by the way, that's exactly what they think. Um, 1982, 83, and 84, there were a couple of companies that went around the country, would call on a dealer and say, give us your inventory, tell us how you want to change the invoices, and we'll create fake invoices. Right. It lasted three or four years in the middle 80s, but the myth is still out there. Okay, I would take the Honda invoice and I would match it up with the one that Edmonds said. And you know what the comment was? Well, they're in on it too. Yeah. You know, yeah. Edmonds was fine until Edmonds' invoice matched up with the real invoice. Yeah. Okay? So, th this is a major problem. So, how do you fix it? Well, you have to use hard evidence. I mean, if you, you, you guys have seen me do this. If I Google, I need help living longer, I get 25 million results on the uh, internet. If I Google, I need help buying a car, how many results will I get? 120 million. Five times more people <laughs> searching for help buying a car than they are searching for ways to live longer. Because they're scared. They're petrified. Know the number, but there's a huge, there's a lot of misinformation on the internet. Consumers misconstrue information. They listen to that idiot. Um, so what, what do we do? Um, you have to use the, you have to use the internet to back up your contentions. If you don't have hard evidence at, at, at what you're trying to communicate to the customer, um, it's very difficult for the customer to back down from their position.